title music from Star Wars. It's possibly the most recognizable orchestral score ever written. John Williams became a household name for the triumphant brass fanfares and sweeping string melodies in his countless film scores, but his percussion writing is just as memorable. Whether you're playing mallets, cymbals, snare drum, or anything else, if you're playing Star Wars, you're gonna be busy. Today, we're gonna tackle this famous snare drum part. At my job in the Oregon Symphony, we play this piece at least once a year, typically on a pops or family program. It always gets a great reception from the audience, and personally, I never get tired of playing it because the percussion parts are all so inventive and challenging. The first thing you might notice about this part is how syncopated it is. While the brass play the famous melody on the beat, the timpani and snare drum play a militaristic offbeat accompaniment. It's forceful, but it has to be a shade quieter than the melody in order for it to sound balanced. I keep the four stroke roughs tight and compact so they don't disrupt the rhythm, and I use a right left left sticking for all of them, which helps me maintain the tempo. One of the trickiest elements of this piece is all the abrupt tempo changes as new themes are introduced. The section between measure 82 and measure 102 contains four different tempi, and you have to pay close attention to ensemble alignment, especially with your colleague on timpani, if you want to navigate this successfully. I recommend keeping a close eye on the accents written in measures 102 to 126. Listen closely to the trombones and timpani and try to match how they phrase and stylize these syncopated parts. As before, this section is only marked forte, so there should be a lighter quality to the sound even though the character is still pretty bold. Finally, I love the sound of the drum I chose for this piece. It's a 14 by 6.5 inch cherry wood drum from the Opus 1 series crafted by Majestic Percussion. The depth of the drum and the beautiful wooden shell give it that rich, guttural sound that blends so well with the timpani and brass. You might be tempted to bring out a metal shell drum of a medium depth, but I prefer something less bright and snappy for this music. This drum projects wonderfully, and I don't feel like I have to work very hard to capture the power and precision this part requires. I hope this has given you some new ideas and concepts to apply to the next time you play Star Wars with an orchestra. I'll sign off with my performance of the snare drum highlights from the main title.